Hello friends, today we will see how to create focus item pop-up in Mothic. So what this is, when a user comes on your website, a form will pop up, such as a newsletter sign up form that will help you to collect leads and this is something Mothic gives you for free. Mothic is a open source email marketing system. If you would like to know how to install Mothic along with Amazon SAS, I have created a course. You can check the link in the description. So coming back to pop-up, for creating a pop-up form is quite easy in Mothic. I am in Mothic dashboard and this is going to be under channels and you need to select focus items. And let's create a new focus item. So we need to click on new. And here we need to give a name. So I'll give a name as news letter sign up. And here we need to enter the website URL as it will show you a preview of how your focus item will look like. But this feature is currently non-functional, but still I would add my website URL. So my website URL is bestcomputerchairs.in. So I'll copy this and I'll paste it here. And then we need to click on builder. First, it used to give a snapshot of your website here, but right now this feature is not available. So if you can see a preview of your website, then comment below. So let me add the website URL here as well. And let's click on fetch. So it is not working. But in your case, if it is working, then please comment below. So if we see here, what should the focus be? So there are three options. First one is collect data. This is usually used to collect the leads. And there are two more options, display a notice. So display notice can be used for any promotional announcement and emphasize a link is idle for a landing page with an event or sales promotion. It displays a call to action button that will redirect to a given link. But for collecting lead, we need to select collect data. So here we can select no if you don't want to animate your pop-up. But uh, I would like to animate the pop-up. So I'll keep it yes. So when to engage. So there are five options upon arrival, after slightly scrolling down, after scrolling to middle, after scrolling to bottom, visitor intend to leave. So upon arrival means any visitor who arrives on your website will see a pop-up after a few seconds okay and after slightly scrolling down means if the visitor is on your website and scrolls the page slightly down then they can they can see a pop-up and same way after scrolling to middle after scrolling to bottom and and the last option is visitor intent to leave so i am going to use this option visitor intends to leave it means when a visitor is on your website and he or she wanted to leave the website okay uh, so at that moment the pop-up form will appear time out before engage this is not required while using this option if you are using the option like upon arrival then we can set the time like uh, once the visitor is on the website after 30 seconds we can show a pop-up but if you are selecting this option visitor intend to leave so here we don't need to add anything so Let's keep it blank. Activate on link click. So I'll keep it no. How often how often to engage? So there are several options. Every page, once per session, every two minutes, every 15 minutes, once per hour, once per day. So I will select once per session. Okay. Stop engaging after conversation. So I'll keep it yes. So there is no need to show the pop-up again to the user who have already signed up to our newsletter. Now coming down, what style should we use? So there are four options. The first one is bar. It displays a bar across the top of the page. So here we can't see the preview, but the bar will come up here. Okay. If you select a bar option. So we don't require that. And there is one more option like notification. So you can see notification. It slides in from the left, right, whatever you select from here if you want to select from left right bottom left bottom right okay then there is full page option it's like a moodle but it opens in a full page so once the visitor is on the page they can see a full page and in that there will be a form but i would like to select moodle so as you can see the moodle opens from top and there are a different placement so there is middle there is bottom 
but I would select middle because it looks good. Okay. And then if we come down here, there are options for colors. So I'll randomly select few colors. So primary color, I will select something on grayish. Text color, I'll keep it black. Button color, I will keep it, let's say I'll keep it green. And button text color would be white. Okay, and for content, here we need to give a headline. So I'll give a headline as sign up for updates. And the tagline can be get tips, get awesome tips in your inbox. And font can be Arial or you need, if you want to select some other font, you can. And select the form to insert. So I have already created a form, so I'll select that. So if you want to know how to create a form in Mothic, so please comment. So I'll make a video on that. Now let's just close the builder. And here we need to click on apply. And then we need to click on save and close. Now we need to add this pop-up to our website. So for that, we need to copy this line of code and paste it right before the closing for the tag. So you can read this, copy this line of code to your website, preferably right before the closing body tag. Alternatively, show this focus item through a campaign action in response to a page view on the page which has Mothic tracking script. So we need to copy this tracking code and so sorry, we need to copy this line of code and paste it uh, right before the closing body tag. Okay, so I'll copy this and I'm using and I'm using WordPress site. So I'll log in into my admin dashboard. So I have already logged in into my admin dashboard and I am using a plugin called header and footer script. So header and footer script. So I've already installed this plugin and I have activated it. So if you are using WordPress website, so you can use this plugin. So once it is installed and activated, you can find this in settings and here you need to click on header and footer script and in the uh, footer before the body tag we need to paste the line of code which we have copied and we need to click on save setting so once this is saved we need to publish the focus item so we this is this you can see it is unpublished okay so we need to go to channel focus item and here we need to publish it so now it is published and then we can go to our website. So let's open an incognito window, test computer chess dot in. And let's say user comes to our website and he or she wanted to leave the website. So once they go on the top section to close the window, they will see a sign up form and either they can put their name and email ID and submit or they can close the pop up. So they won't able to see the pop up again. So once again, I would like to tell you that I have created a course on how to install Mothic and Amazon SCS. So link is in the description. You can check it. And if you like the video, please like, share and comment and please subscribe to my channel. See you soon.